Hi, I'm Laura Janczewski. Welcome to the fifth part in my series of my various Toonstruck work files. This time I'm going to show King Hugh's Palace. So I'll start at the beginning of the Toonstruck game in Bric-a-Brac's laboratory. Bric-a-Brac was not always one character. The original idea shown here may have been John Pimpiano's design. Brick and Brac. It says Brick, the evil scientist, is the Napoleonic type Dr. Strangelove, and Brac is the dumb assistant. On top, Brick says, We have phase of making you talk. I don't remember if the mailer tube and the spring hen catching it was in the first part of the game. I think that was cut out. Brick points out the parts on the cutifier. I also did these animations in Spanish, German, and French. You see the items collected had to make sense for the malevolator's counterparts in those languages, so different malevolator parts were drawn in. For example, in German, where you put in the nuts, it made more sense for them to have a whale, because the German word for whale is Baal, which is part of the German word for walnuts, Baalnusa. In the corridor, I made an animation of Flux going down the rail because his walk cycle on the stairs didn't look right. There's an animation of the doors that wasn't used, but you can see it was on the old background with the picture of King Hugh. I added in the cabinet there for the puzzle with the stuffed kitty. In King Hugh's bedroom, the rug and footman animations were among the first pixel pushing jobs I did while working on Toonstruck. I made the rug fold up the other way originally, as you can see in the animation with the footman. Whenever you see Drew or Flux disappear from my animations, it's because they went back to their walk or idle animation cycles. You have to use Flux to open the trapdoor above. Here's the after effect frame of the anvil hitting the footman in King Hugh's cellar. Here are some drawer animations I made in the close-up. I don't think the drawer animations on the bedroom background were used in the game because the note wasn't on the mirror. I made these animations outside of King Hugh's palace with the butterflies and the armadillo guards. This is the throne room. Here's an example of a door animation I made before the next background was available. You can see the animation changed when I got the background for the next room, which was the corridor. I'm not sure if the throne room was cut out of the game, but I'm sure that King Hugh's study was. It contains the mailer tubes that go down to Brick and Brack's laboratory, and on the other side you can see it goes out to the balcony, which was also another puzzle. These are some of the concept designs I made for King Hugh. I wasn't very good at it, but it is kind of fun to get paid for doodling. I worked on this more over the years, but I really think that character design is something that people are really born with a talent for. Time to get rid of the footman so you can loot the trophy room. Adventure games kind of encourage that sort of behavior, don't they? Of course, the payback for stealing is that you'll get stuck here unless you have something to exchange for that golden watering can. And next time, I'll show you my animation adventures from Zany Do. We are here, Qtopia. Hey, that's where I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany Do.